This is the Coggle Mind Map Tool. Consider this a Coggle review. Hey, it's Ozzy here talking about the Coggle Mind Map Tool. This is a great tool for mind mapping and it's super lightweight as you're about to find out. Okay, so let me start by saying that the Coggle Mind Map Tool has a free forever plan. There are also some paid plans, namely the Coggle Awesome Plan and the Coggle Organization Plan. As you can expect, the Coggle Free Plan does have some limitations. The one to note is that it only allows you three private diagrams, that is, three private mind maps. But I will share a tip with you at the end of this video to explain how I work within that limitation. It's not some kind of voodoo where you're suddenly going to get more than three private diagrams. You are only going to get three private diagrams on the free plan. But the tip might work for you. Now, on the other hand, you do get unlimited public diagrams and there are a ton of really nice benefits that you can still get on the free forever plan, like over 1600 beautiful icons, unlimited image uploads, PDF and image download. And I know that this is a sticky point for a lot of people because on some of my other mind mapping tool reviews, a lot of people express in the comments that they're gutted that they can't export to PDF. So with this one, you can. And this comes into my tip at the end of this video. Now, another really cool feature that I love about this mind mapping tool is that you can share your mind maps with team members or other people, even your clients. And what's really impressive is that you can set permissions for those users. So for example, you may allow somebody to edit the mind map or you may just give them read-only access. And if that wasn't awesome enough, you can watch them make those changes in real time. If you have the budget, there is a Coggle Awesome plan, which is $5 a month, and that gives you unlimited private diagrams. Okay, so let's talk about how lightweight this tool actually is. Coggle is an online tool. It works in your browser, so there's nothing to download and there's nothing to install. You simply log in and start creating mind maps. And because the tool is online, you can access your mind maps via different devices. The good news is that Coggle supports Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and the latest version of IE. And get this, there's also a Coggle app for iOS and for Android. So when it comes to the desktop version, the tool doesn't eat your system resources. All the processing happens on the Coggle servers. You can see here an example of how a Coggle diagram looks. And you can see here that with Coggle, you can actually create flowcharts, which is a godsend because this is something that has always been a sticking point for me with mind mapping software. Some of the awesome features of this tool are real-time collaboration. The fact that you can go back in history and look at all the changes you've made on your mind maps in order to revert to a previous version. Unlimited image uploads, which is fantastic. Floating text and images, the ability to create loops and join branches, if you so wish. With the paid plans, you get unlimited private diagrams, powerful flow charting, and enhanced collaboration. If you're as excited as I am about this mind mapping tool, then relax because I'm about to tell you how you can get started in 60 seconds. But before that, let me share my tip. With the free forever plan, you only get three private diagrams. Now, this is the thing. I've been mind mapping for a lot of years and I use mind mapping really to brainstorm ideas and develop those ideas. But I never go back to a mind map once I've created it. I use the tools to help me think. Now, I realize that you may have a different use in mind, of course, but if that's how you work with mind maps, then let me share with you how I actually use the free forever plan. If there's a mind map that I need to create and refer back to, let's say, for example, I'm creating a huge project that's going to take me 12 months to complete, then I may want to refer back to that mind map and tweak as I go along. I actually use a different tool to manage a project once it's up and running, but I'll talk about that in another video. However, if I did want to create a mind map that I needed to refer to, then that would only be one of my three allowed private diagrams. For my second diagram, I would actually have a blank slate and I would use that for smaller mind maps. I would just brainstorm something and then export that mind map when I'm done to PDF. And because I don't usually refer back to mind maps, then I would just keep reusing that second mind map to brainstorm small projects. 
and that leaves me with one third private diagram which gives me the option to also use that as a blank slate that I can reuse and that way my two most recent small mind maps are available in case I export one to PDF and then I realize that I need to add an extra node. So I know that the three diagram seems like a limit, but that's how I work within that. Okay, so let me share with you where you can go and get started. And if you're interested in getting a head start, then dive into my Coggle tutorial series, which you'll find at the end of this video and also in a link in the description below this video. That will save you a lot of time and help you get started quickly. Okay, so using your favorite browser, providing it's either Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or the latest version of IE, search for Coggle. Click on the Coggle link. And that will bring you to this page. The Coggle link, by the way, is coggle.it, as in Coggle it. Then click on the Sign Up Now button, and this will take you to the Sign In page, where you can either sign in with your Google account or with a Microsoft account if you have one of those. And now we're ready to get started. Once again, the link in the description takes you to my Coggle tutorial series, as does the video on your screen now. And while you're here, please remember to subscribe to the channel, and that way you don't miss any of these awesome tools. Take it easy, and I shall catch you in the next video.